Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the Bantamweight bout on the contender series between David Martinez versus Xavier Franklin. And how do I feel about this one right here? Is I'm going low confidence Xavier Franklin to beat David Martinez. And I don't know why David, I don't know why David Martinez is the favorite. On tapology, he's like 80% favorite. On odds, I think he's like a plus, no, he's like a minus 165 favorite. But don't quote me that. He's definitely more than, he's more than pick him, is what I'm going to say. So it's not no minus 110, minus 105. It's minus, it's minus 100, some actual change. Like minus 165, and I don't understand it. I feel like, really, it should be pick him or Xavier Franklin. But hey, if I could get in and put a bet in before the odds shift, or maybe they get worse, maybe it's like, all right, dude, this guy sucks, even though. I don't know. I'm actually one of the best, but I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just yapping. Can't you tell that I love to yap? I think it's pretty obvious, but all I'm saying is that the odds can shift. And I feel like they should shift, to be honest, in my opinion. But hopefully it stays a dog. I, it looks good when I when I catch a dog. It looks good and it pays when I catch a dog. So hopefully it stays a dog by the time my um, betting book had opens the line for me to bet. But yeah. On Xavier Franklin here, and I feel like it should be Pickham or Franklin should be the dog. I mean, <laughs> should be Pickham or Franklin should be the favorite. Do I think he should be a, a blowout favorite? No, but I do. I think he should be kind of in the, the position that um, Martinez is in on odds. I think so. Xavier Franklin is a lethal. You know, his strike is pretty lethal too. Just as um, Martinez is, I say Martinez may be a cleaner, more technical striker. Maybe. Again, big maybe we still dealing with these guys that are amateur level. You know, at least not saying like legit amateur level, but you know, compared to the UFC level, these guys aren't the major league level is what I'm talking about. Talking about. They're trying to get to the major leagues, but they're here for a reason because they aren't the major league level themselves yet. This is their chance to prove that they are there, but they are not there and have not proven they are there yet. But um, yeah, so both of them are leaf on the feet, but Mark, but um Franklin also has explosive wrestling, he has some okay submission skills and Martinez, we've always seen is pretty much just a one-dimensional striker. Like a kind of Taekwondo type of striker. So, yeah, I would see, it would seem like the more well-rounded guy who also got lethal hands on the feet and lethal strikes on the feet would be the guy who would be the favorite. But I don't know. But yeah, I'm going Xavier Franklin here. Average confidence. I already talked. I'm not saying average. A low. My confidence already said it was low. But, and I'm not switching it to average. But now I'm just forgetting where I'm at in this video. But I'm going to wrap it up. Yeah, um... I'll say decision here. I think it's going to be a good scrap. Might be the best fight. Now, I'm not going to say the year or on the contender series this year, but I would say this will could easily shape up to be the best fight on this week of contender series. That's what I will say. And I think they're going to match up pretty well. I think um, Xavier Franklin being a more well rounded guy and definitely looking to use and mix up his wrestling in the game and mixing his jiu-jitsu in there is going to be able to edge the fight. I think he's going to be able to gain respect of Martinez on the feet, be able to hurt him on the feet, and kind of slow Martinez down and give him something to respect. And once Martinez starts to, you know, over-defend and start to overreact to the, the power, you know, the, the strikes from Franklin, and then Franklin's mixing in the takedowns as well, you know, kind of playing the levels. Like, I'm, is a punch coming? Is a takedown coming? I feel like he's going to kind of shell up. Um, by the way, whether it's shelling up um, Martinez or Martinez is overreacting and, like, overcommitting to the counters. I know he likes to throw counter check hooks. And those can be leave you open for a lot of different things. Can leave you open for overhands. Can leave you open for straights because you can be turning like a clock, and they time and they catch you right on the chin as you turning. Or when you turn, they can time and duck under and put you on your butt. And I think Frank can exploit that tendency from him because he has wrestling like the guys that you know. What's he find like Mexico? Mexico really don't got no wrestlers over there, so he's not really used to dealing with wrestling. He's not really used to training with wrestlers like good wrestlers. And Xavier Franklin will bring that to him. He'll bring the power. He'll bring the speed. He'll bring the explosion. And he'll be be able to mix the martial arts where I feel like um, Martinez, again, is more so very much one-dimensional. And I think Franklin will, will be able to fully exploit that. Do I think he washes him? By no means. Is, like, is, it, is it a possibility? Definitely. But I'm going to say decision here, competitive decision, but a clear win for Xavier Franklin mixing up the martial arts and getting his hand raised by decision here. So in this one, I have Xavier Franklin via decision. 